Okay, today we're going to make a shiny highlight icon. Um, this is going to be a resolution independent um, icon uh, that we can show at a large size to explain what it means and then a small size just to highlight little bits and pieces um, on a web page. Uh, we're using Inkscape, of course, uh, free software, very good software for uh, vector illustration. First thing I'm going to do is draw a triangle. Um, it doesn't really matter to me that it's very even, although I will change the points mode here and just neaten that up a little bit. Um, and then once I've set that up as a triangle, I can make the, um, the edges of the triangle round by clicking on the, uh, selecting each of the nodes and turning them into rounded corners. They're a little bit too round for my liking, so I'm just shortening in those uh, handles there. And there's a handy little button to make the um, to make them symmetrical there, which is what I've done. Now I'm filling in uh, the entire triangle with a solid black, just so it makes it easier to see the outline of the um, object. I could fiddle around with this and make it a little bit more even uh, with my points there, but for today's purposes, I think I'll just leave it um, the way it is. I've made a copy. Um, basically, when you're dragging an item around the screen, you can press the space bar whenever you need a copy. Um, so it just drops like a stamp, uh, exactly what you're using. Um, fiddling around with the colors now, just to pick a color for the um, inset of my little button that I'm making. So I'll just drop that over the top and um, gives us a nice kind of edge. I could make it smaller for a larger border there. Make another copy using the same spacebar technique. And now this time I'm going to, instead of changing the color, I'm going to make a gradient um, by selecting in the fill there. You can see I've made a gradient from left to right. Um, and now I'm going to adjust the colors of the gradient to go from white to basically transparent. Uh, and transparent is the last sort of color, if you like, the alpha channel there. Um, so I'm making, um, I've made the first part of the gradient white, now I'm making the second part white and move to transparent. Now I could have left it as a, as a pinkish um, sort of gradient, but the reason that I'm making that a gradient uh, that goes white will become apparent when we uh, look at some different color variants of our shiny thing. So I'm adjusting, uh, if you go into the points, the, the node editing tool, you can adjust the, um, the direction of the gradient, which is what I'm doing here. Um, I could put all of these items onto separate layers, which would prevent me from selecting the wrong item from time to time, but um, I find it's fairly easy to select things as I go. Now I'm just adjusting the size of this, uh, of this overlay, this shine. Um, it's more of a feel thing to see how, how the shine might appear off an object um, of a particular um, sort of shape. And I'm zooming in here, you can zoom in with the, uh, with the mouse wheel um, as a shortcut. And I'm going to put an asterisk on this highlight. Um, this is a series of little icons. Which I'm going to put an asterisk and a um, and an exclamation mark onto, uh, and various other things. And my favourite asterisk here is in Times New Roman, a classic font. And then once I've created that, I'll scale up the size of the asterisk to fit over the top. Um, and then once I've got the size correct, I'll actually be putting the asterisk underneath um, the, uh, the, the shine to give it a bit more realism that the asterisk is actually part of the button and, and part of that um, plastic sort of surface I've got going there. Um, now to do that, I'll press the page down button just to move it down a little bit. That doesn't move it within the layer, that just um, moves its position within the current layer, up or down, with the page up and page down keys. So you can see our, um, our shiny thing is taking shape now. I've decided after putting the asterisks in that it's a little bit too bright, the shine, so I'm just adjusting um, the position of the, um, of the gradient now using those handles. Um, and we can see now um, if I go in, because the reason that I made the shine a pure white rather than putting, say, you know, white to pink uh, on the top, if I make it go from white to a to a transparent, then basically I can select any colour I like um, for the object, and the gradient over the top will match, as you can see, as I'm doing now. So quite a handy uh, thing. I think I might move um, move the shine around a little bit um, so that it sits over the 
the black section of the um, thing a little bit more. At the moment it looks as just maybe as though the inset section could be shiny, so I'm just going to nudge that over a little bit, perhaps swing the, um, the gradient around. So that's it. Um, pretty much uh, now I could export to any particular file format. I wanted a JPEG or a GIF for these little um, little images. I could edit them in Inkscape, put a drop shadow in, all that sort of thing. And um, that's the end of today's lesson.